Hi guys. So, um, I know that I said that, um, I'm going to be reading this letter after my grandma's wake, but I figured that I would be way too emotional to even, like, read it. So, when I went to work this morning, right now I'm actually on break. I have, like, um, 15 minutes left. Um, I figured that right now would be the perfect time to read the goodbye letter or farewell letter to my grandma that I wrote. So, here it is. Okay. My dearest grandma, words can't describe knowing you are gone. This is the hardest, by far the hardest thing I've ever had to go through. I'm happy that you are no longer suffering and finally at peace with Grandpa and Uncle Bruce and your parents. I miss and love you so much. Grandma, you have no idea. I will always keep all the amazing memories in my heart. You were the only woman who understood me inside and out and never judged me and taught me to always be kind. You are the reason I am the person I am today. This whole thing doesn't seem real at all. I feel like I'm stuck in a horrible nightmare that I'll never wake up from. Every time my mom and I put heads, I always called you because you would talk some sense into her. Every Thanksgiving, Christmas, and sometimes Easter, those holidays and the time spent with you were so special growing up. I miss the smell of the fireplace going, having the entire family together, enjoying each other's company, you getting pickled, as you would say, you getting pickled off the wine. And just, you know, enjoying it in each other's company. Losing Grandpa Cliff in 1998, my Grandpa Wally in 2007, and my Nana earlier this year was extremely hard. It was extremely hard, especially with Nana dying, yes. But I knew, and I even told Toby, that when your day would come, I know I would completely lose myself. And I was 1 million percent right. Last night, actually it was Tuesday night, Toby, Avery, and I, since Lala fell asleep, we watched The Sound of Music in memory of you. It brought back so many memories of the good old days when we, we watched The Sound of Music, <clears throat> Titanic, Hocus Pocus, you know, during the Cousins Week. Because literally that's what we did. Like, we would watch movies all the time, we would go swimming in her pool, because she had a... Uh, Bolton pool that was like 8 by 11 feet. Um, cousins week in the summertime, shopping with you for birthdays at Chicago Ridge Mall were so much fun. And every holiday, I remember that you would not let anyone help you cook, and you would say, Get out of the kitchen! Get out of the kitchen! Like you would let all of us, you know, to get out of the kitchen because you never wanted help. And you would always wait until everybody got their food first. And then when everybody was done eating, you would eat last. And all the adult conversations and the adult words that you used to educate us about adult things growing up. And I remember me saying, ew, grandma. Because she, she used to say horny, like, you know, over and over and over. I'd be like, ew, grandma, don't say that. And... You would say, well, how do you think you got here? Being around your energy was the best because you're always so positive. You made sure that every great-grandchild, grandchild, child of yours, etc. knew that they were truly loved. All my friends who met you always adored you. You made sure everyone was always so comfortable at your house. And you welcome everybody with your open arms. You're the only reason why I am not a racist. Because of the traumatic experience I went through in high school. You know, ex you know what I'm talking about, Grandma. You accepted Christy and Debbie and never treated them any different than anybody else in the family. You were the best listener. Give the best advice. You're the most caring, patient, generous, kind sweetest non-judgmental 
loving person I've ever met in my life. I'm glad you were my grandmother. Delilah and Avery loved and adored you just like they do my Nana. I wish you didn't have to go to heaven. I wish you were still here. Delilah tells Toby and I every night before we go to bed or before she goes to bed that she always so she will always remember when you told her this year when they saw you when we all visited you, Cassie, the girls and I, that you told her and Avery that they were so beautiful. They both had a special place in their hearts for you and my Anna. I'll always keep the family secret of us being witches. And I'll always keep that in church and keep that, you know, family secret on and make sure my daughters pass it on to their children. I really wish this wasn't real at all. But I'm going to end this goodbye letter or farewell letter to you. I will see you on the other side when my time comes. I love you so much, my angel. Rest in peace, Grandma. Love, always and forever. Your granddaughter, Teresa, a.k.a. Terrible Terry, TT. Now, an hour and a half, or oh, like an hour and a half, I'm going to be getting off work, going home to get changed, and then going straight to the funeral home. By the time this is posted, I'll already be home from the wake. And that's why I made this now. So then, you know, because there's no way that I would be able to, um, you know, read it out loud after the wake. Because I would be just too hysterical. But everything that I know and that I do is because of her, like... The bond that I had with her, it was not, it wasn't like anything else. Like, every single time that my mom and I got into fights, I would always call her, or like, I would throw my mom saying, I'm calling grandma, and she would say, go ahead, like, you know, I'm not scared of your grandmother. And then I would call her, and then she would talk to my mom, and, you know, say whatever. But... I, this whole entire week, I try to keep my composure at work and at home, but I can't. Like, this is the hardest death I've ever had to go through, and I miss her. I miss her so much. Like, November, just November and March are the two worst months because that's literally, like, Cassie and I, we both, like, you know, figured, like, we both uh, realized that that's the two months that both, like, all four of our grandparents died. And losing, especially both of my grandmas this year, like, and 2019 just sucks. And then my uncle Bruce died too, which was my grandma's, uh, young, or her baby brother. So they're now in heaven together. And the last time that Cassie and I went to go see my grandma, that was in September, she didn't even know who we were. She didn't know that we were family members. She just said, you're so beautiful, but we had to go. And she kept telling us to go, to leave, to leave, to leave, because she needed to sleep. And my grandma died in her sleep, so thank God she went peacefully. But she had a brain tumor, um, and she got the surgery of the brain, or the tumor removed, in 2015 and it was successful but then my mom told me that after the surgery that he didn't know what was going to happen you know after that and then slowly you know she couldn't talk the way she used to and then basically like you know slowly gradually just like lost it and then 2018 last year they had to put her into a home and I remember at her birthday party last year at the nursery home, she was confused on, you know, why we were all, like, like, why she was there. And she just wanted to go home. And when I brought the girls there this year, like, it was just so special. And in 2017, when I had my abortion, like... That was actually like the last time, because I used to bring my daughters 
just to visit my nana and my grandma for the holidays, like in between like Thanksgiving and Christmas, because like Toby, the girls and I, we do our own thing. Um, and 2017, because I had my abortion, I was so depressed about it, and I didn't bring the girls to visit either, because I was so depressed. And that was the last year before Grandma actually like really lost it, like before she like went downhill. And I regret it. Like I wish I brought them there because that was like the only time or the last time that the girls who saw my grandma fine like you know before she like completely forgot who everybody was I just had and usually when people have dementia it's like I like I read online that like usually they die if they catch pneumonia or if they get any kind of other illnesses but she unless you know the autopsy says different but it didn't you know I don't know what the autopsy says but I just know that she just passed in her sleep that like the nurse came in so ahead of her and said so, uh, that she was gonna grab her medicine and then when she came back she was gone she was gone she was only 86 and even before that she was so active like she would read to kids at, you know, elementary school, like, every Tuesdays and Thursdays. She was so active in, active in the community. Like, everybody in Blue Island knew her. Like, everybody, like, all my friends, like, my cousins, they're, like, their friends and stuff. Like, they all loved her. Like, everybody loved going there. Like, just being around her, you just being around her in general was just the best thing ever. And today, I can't believe, like, this, and especially tomorrow, I was saying goodbye to her. It's gonna be the hardest thing, cause I'm, like, no one is ready to say goodbye, but, I don't know, Grandma, she, like, no matter the bad choices I made in my past growing up, like, she never, ever looked down at me and thought that I was a piece of crap. And she knew, like, when Delilah, like, when I was, uh, like, right before I got put on bed rest, like, the, on my birthday when I went there, um, she was like, you're dropping, you're about to have Delilah. And I was like, no, like, my mom and I were like, no. You know, we're, like, I still have two months, there's no way. And she's like, no, you're going to have her soon. You're really, you're going to have her soon. And she was right. Like, she knew, she was so smart. She was so intelligent. She knew everything, like. And it's just not the same without her. It's not the same. It's not. I just can't believe that she's gone. And, like, I lost both my nana and my grandma in the same year. It's just really hard. And yeah, okay, yeah. Now I'm done with lunch, so I gotta go back in though. But that was my letter, my farewell letter. Like, as a see you later letter to my grandma. So to all my cousins, my aunts and uncles, and everybody that sees the letter that is right next to the pictures of my girls in her casket, that's what it says. That's you know I read that letter. That's exactly what it says. So, because I just want to let her know how much she meant to me and to everybody around her. Like, everybody who loved her and her. But yeah, but I'm not in this video now because I'm about to break down really, like, really bad. So, thank you to everybody for watching. Today and tomorrow are going to be really, really hard. So, please keep my family in your thoughts and prayers. Alright, I love you guys so much and thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye.